Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a bit more Hard Space Shipbreaker. Now, the uh, devs have blessed us with a brand new hull, which we had a bit of a tour at, a bit of a look at on the last episode. We're going to continue interrogating that, because that's the new hotness. I'm very excited about seeing what that's all about. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. There's one there. The Valkyrie Star Cruiser. And this is a very hard version. Let's go! Let's give it a bloody red-hot burl and see what's happening here. So, the, uh, the sort of centerpiece, from what I can understand, is this central three-way airlock. Which, um, I think has a bit more of a complex cycle system than we initially sort of recognised. Now, these little dangly salvage arms are a fucking trap. We don't want anything to do with them. Look at this, the entire hull is pressurised as well. That's interesting. If I hover over this, do I get a danger warning? Pro yep, yep, okay. Because that's your little access door. All right. Airlock pressure levels dropping. So let's investigate. I cycle this. Airlock pressure level increasing. Interesting. Okay, so flushing this is going to be a nightmare, which is kind of fun. Airlock pressure level dropping. Pressure level decreasing. Okay. Should be interesting. We might be able to do all sorts of weird things with explosive decompression on this, you know? Alright, so much like we've done in previous hulls, this front section often is going to need a sort of manual drain. Air pressure level decreasing. It will be interesting because there's all this scrap and shit floating around in this ship. So, I think if you shit the bed when it comes to the de decompression, that could be all sorts of trouble. Now, one of the things I was sort of positing was... There's definitely no, like, access hatches. I guess this glass window sort of counts? Or does that just lead back into the corridor? Oh, it does too. Let's start cutting. Salvage destroyed. All right, we've seen all this before, haven't we? Oh. Back, mmm. You cheeky bastard. Look at that. That is unusual. And it's definitely firm. Otherwise this would cut away. Yeah, yeah, that's firm. Oh, okay. Ooh, I love a little wrinkle, eh? Um, what if we cut it all the way back here? Wait, 
what the fuck just happened here? Hang on, hang on, something's not making sense here. That's attached to the superstructure. Oh, it's taking this whole fucking chunk with it as well. Oh! That's a bit strange, isn't it? It's a... No. Well, fuck. How much do you weigh? 22 ton. I think you're a tiny bit too heavy. It's interesting how it sprung apart, yet still too heavy. We have to. I think we might have to cut this into because I think twenty tons your limit. Sort of the general vibe I was getting. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. Now that is interesting, that little extra bit of keel. I'd be curious, the way it's placed, it almost feels like that might be something that they've done to all the ships, not just this one. You know what I mean? Because they do that, occasionally they change a tiny little thing. Just to mess with, just to mess with us. We the people. I guess this could probably fly out on its own. Mm -hmm. So you should be moving. Valuable object process. Why aren't you? Object not accepted. Because I didn't actually technically pull these panels up. Got him an idiot. Okay, sorry team. Tethers, but oh wow, so that was all a bit of a mess, wasn't it? Okay, yeah. Processing valuable objects, credits awarded. Yeah, alright, so that, that came apart like a bloody crumbly cake, you know? Hmm. They've changed the sound, which is interesting. Okay, so there's our coolant problem. As we, we tracked that that goes all the way to the front. There's the power. Airlock. Valuable object process. Credit 
Deposit not accepted. I don't care about those objectives because I have more LT than you could sneeze at. Now we did find that we could pull this out. Oh, now look at this. We've got floating fuel. That is a cool wrinkle. You got five minutes left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. All oh, right. Now I want to know if I drill this wall out, what happens to the glass? Well, for starters, we can't just drill the wall out clean. That's cool, eh? Unfortunately, it's going to get in the way. Alright. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What's going on with the sound? It's so good. It sounds sort of like when it's in oxygen. Like if you have a pressurized environment, the sound's slightly different, but you never really hear that. Because why would you? We're hardly ever working in a pressurized environment. All right, here we go. We're going to do the old kidney. The page is pending. Scarlet kidney pull. The scarlet maneuver. Oh shit. That's not part of it. Reactor meltdown sequence triggered. Urgent action required. Why is it not moving? What the fuck? Wait, why the fuck aren't you moving? Oops, that's why. Alright, silly me, you can't get it out with two, uh... Oh! Oh! No! Help! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit how many times you could respawn. No one wants to die in a fucking furnace. Oh my god, that that grabbed me so hard. <laughs> oh, oh no. All right, let's just. We've only got a minute or two. Warning: Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically. Profitable how much oxygen levels? do I have? 70 seconds and a minute 30. Oh, do you reckon I could just suffocate through that? Wait, no, a minute 30 is two minutes. What am I talking about? I need, I need oxygen. Fuck. I did the math wrong. I was like, I have 20 seconds extra. Negative. Oxygen level stabilizing. All right. Shush. Time to start wrapping things up. Weave wrap. Alright. Oops. Alright, there you go. Look at that. The coolant line is... is dead now. It had... Okay.
Right. What if I cut it right at the very last piece? Okay, so if you remove the coolant, it behaves a lot better. I mean, I think because I've tried so many different things and I haven't kept super hard track of the coolant, and its behavior's changed, actually. You might recall that it, it didn't automatically melt down when you severed a cool, coolant connection. Um, I've, I've sort of... I've almost built up a, a false mythos in my mind of what the coolant does and doesn't do. But that was interesting. Pull the little things out and that. You're pretty much laughing. You know, I guess the, the real prickly part of it was the reactor pull, but if we've already pulled the reactor out, it probably becomes a little less scary. It takes the bite out of, uh, out of the old, uh, coolant, I think. Hmm! That was interesting. So the front's messy as buggery. The furnace is hot. <laughs> um, and, uh, no, that was, that was all right. There's still plenty to do. Plenty to poke and prod and, and feel about and see what we can do. Um... Um, uh, we'll probably start breaking it apart, similar to what we were doing with the heavy gecko. Um, one of the things, as much as I've enjoyed that, uh, one of the things that we sort of did lose track of a little bit <clears throat> was sort of value triage. Um, and peeling the skin is of high value, but we want to just... You kind of want to just crack it, peel it, and forget it, is probably how I want to do it. So, like, crack the chunks off. You get four tethers, you get three tethers, <clears throat> and then you don't have to look at it ever again. And and that that's the hope. that That's money in the bank. So you spend very, very little time. But the time investment is in these sort of episodes when we figure out what it's all worth. But then there's obviously individual bits and pieces that are going to be the highest value. Um, one thing that really excites me about this scrap ship, seeing the fuel floating around in there as well, I'm, I'm not really sure. I, we saw like a, one of the sort of comms arrays that you can see from the uh, the science vessel. So it's it could be a bit more of a scavenger hunt, a bit more of a treasure hunt, going through and looking at what scraps in the ship and figuring out if there's high value stuff worth taking out. Very interesting. Um, it could potentially just do that for the sake of objectives, but unfortunately, again, we have no value for LT at this point. I hope that they add some. Maybe, I mean, any chance that they've added more certification? It doesn't look like it. No. More equipment, perhaps? No, I don't think so. No. So, I mean, apart from just doing it for the sake of doing it, which might be interesting. Maybe we'll do that. Let me know what you reckon, guys. Do you want me to do objectives on the new scrap runner? Even though I've got everything unlocked, that might be of value to others that uh, maybe are working through the objectives themselves. Hmm. I'd be curious. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.